I'm so excited to have you here. My number one video ever of all time was how men test women. And I got so many angry comments of men are manipulative. Why are they testing women? Ignore those men. And yet, I actually think that testing is important. I think that men test women, I test women. I have brought in two of the most world-renowned dating coaches. Now listen, I was the CEO of the world's largest school for professional matchmakers and dating coaches. And I work with dating coaches from all over the world. And I'm being sincere here, you don't see me collaborating with dating coaches. These two guys are two of the most authentic, genuine, loving, wise men that I've ever met. And I wanted to bring them on here for this specific episode so you can hear from them what they think about testing and maybe even get a little insight in how we have tested women in the past. So I wanna introduce you to Dr. Antonio. Welcome to my studio, Dr. Antonio. I'm, I'm happy to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. I feel honored and, and I love your work. Amazing, amazing work. He's such an authentic guy. I feel like I wanna hug you now. We're gonna have like another video yeah. of us appreciating each other. And I have Mark Rosenfeld from Make Him Yours all the way from Australia to Chicago here to share your experience. Thank you for having me, Jason. You're brilliant and I really appreciate you having me in your studio. It's like a trip for me to have like these big it's YouTubers cool. here. But cool. here's what I wanna do. I wanna get right to the core. Yeah. First of all, do men test women and is this even a good thing? What do you guys think? I absolutely think that men test women and I think they do it for a good reason. I mean, they want to know quickly if this is someone that they could see themselves with and they're not going to get that information so quickly. If they're going to try to get the information organically, it's going to take a long time. Mm. And uh, you know, if they ask them directly, they're going to get what they, the person thinks you want to hear. Yeah, he's not going to be honest. Yeah. Okay, so tests are ways to discover things about people without maybe asking the question. In that respect, I see why it makes sense for a woman to do it sure. and, and a man. What do, you, what do you think, Mark? Yeah. Do you think? Tests are really important. Evolution designed us to find the best partner for us. And the reality is even though everyone has the same intrinsic human value, we have different values to each other as partners. And you can't just ask a man, hey, are you safe? Hey, will you stick with me? Hey, are you consistent in your boundaries? Even if he knew what the truth was, he's not able to communicate it much of the time and things can change. So we need to test each other. People test people in subconscious ways that evolution designed very importantly so that we could find the best matches and continue our species. I mean, that is absolutely true. I totally double down on what you guys are saying. And when I was looking to get married, I absolutely was testing a woman. And it wasn't like a test of, are you enough? Are you good enough? It was literally, are we a good fit? So I was yeah. testing her on what she was looking for, if all sorts of things all the time. And you can't just ask, everything because like you said people words they're going to tell you words words, they, they words. Right actions right yeah. i mean this is like the one thing that we're always reiterating is you can't listen to what a man says ever don't listen to what we say i mean that <laughs> listen seriously to nothing. listen to nothing it's all in our actions so here's the thing this is kind of a cool video because we are men and we're talking and revealing things about what we think which are a little taboo you know it's a little taboo look at the comment section there's people that are upset but I'm curious, like, how do you guys actually test when you've dated? Have, are you aware? It was funny because I've never done a video on this. And you asked me to, well, how do you test women? And I had to sit there and go, how do I? Because it's so subconscious. I don't even realize I'm doing it. But when you asked me, I thought I must be doing it. So how am I doing it? And one of the big ways I realize that I test women is that I subconsciously need to know if they're going to fit into my lifestyle. So I thought, how have I tested a girlfriend in the past or someone that I've been dating a while? One thing I realized I do is if there's, if there's a social event or say a family event, what I'll do is, and this is not even me thinking about it, but I'll wander a few meters away and talk to someone else. Or I'll just duck off to the restroom or something. And if, if I come back and find her positively interacting and, and making great impressions, that's a huge tick. Wait, 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 wait. So when you leave, when you leave, are you actually thinking? No. Like, but when you no. come back, you are. And I'm like, oh, she's interacting. Like, yes. But what if she yes. doesn't? What if she was alone? What if she wasn't? I think I'd start to honestly go, will she fit in with the lifestyle that I'm building okay, and create so a great impression? This is fascinating because literally she might have had five minutes where someone she was spending a moment alone 
Yeah. But this is a key point, right? And I understand that you're not taking a moment in time. No, to judge it's, a it's a person. cumulative thing. Obviously. But that's a super interesting point because that was one idea that could literally be a seed. And you're looking now, now you're aware of it and you're almost... Yeah, it's it's not a lot consciously, but if that happens a few times yeah. and every time I find her not interacting with my family, that is going to seed away. I'm going to think, will she actually fit in with the life I'm building? Uh, even another way is like, I'll take someone on a really creative date. And I'm like, why do I do that? And I enjoy it as the first reason, but I also realize that I live a very varied lifestyle. So if, if a woman is fairly anxious or uncertain in a very creative, spontaneous environment, she's probably not going to vibe that well with me versus a woman who's like really into it. I'm like, all right, you're like, you fit with me. It's not that you're a good or a bad person. It's nothing to do with that. It's just like, are you a good or a bad person for me? Okay. When you fit in with me. This is, this is brilliant because literally Mark right now is talking about what's most important in terms of your values. Yeah. And then you're actually incorporating that and looking for character traits that embody those values, which is obviously key. But this is what's so interesting and this is what's so cool is that there's actually something that you can do. There's actually something that women can do to figure out how he's testing you. And we're going to get to that. I'm actually going to talk about that towards the end of this video. But I actually want to hear, and, and we're going to get back to your yeah, specific point. Yeah, I want to hear, like, Dr. Antonio, you are very aware of testing and you're, you're very aware of how it's done. How do you do it? How have you done it in the past? It's interesting because I'm, I'm looking to find out about a person's character, okay? So I'm, I'm on a date with someone. Obviously, I thought she was attractive and, and we interacted in such a way that I wanted to take her out. So if we go on a date, let's say we go to dinner and we go to a nice restaurant, we have a great time. When the bill comes, I'm always going to pay for that. That's for sure. But why? Well, that's not, that's not taken for granted anymore in today's... Why? It's his values. But right. I'm, I'm, I'm always yeah. going to pay for it, right? Like, that's an expectation sure. that I have. Like, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going on a date. I'm taking her on a date. And, and so if I'm going on a date with a woman and we're going to a very nice restaurant, a classy restaurant, something that is, you know, very pricey, when the bill comes, I'm not going to let her pay for it. But knowing that she wants to or knowing that she's willing to offer or make that gesture is huge to me. Yeah. That means yeah. so much to me. Rather than someone who is expecting that, you know, we're going to go to a $500 dinner and this guy's going to pay for it and, you know, I might never see him again. And then the, the second thing is after a date, whether it was good or bad, you know, we just went to a, a great dinner. We just had a great time. I just met you. I spent three hours of my time. You spent three hours of your time with me. Even if you're not interested, I expect that that person's going to say, going to text me or call me and say, hey, I had a great time. Um, thank you so much for dinner. Um, it was great meeting you. Whether or not you want to, if you want to go out again, obviously say something like it was great. I can't wait to do that again. or I'd like to do that again. That's always great. But the expectation is that, you know, I don't owe you anything. We're, we're equals here. We're meeting together to have dinner and I paid for it. I would, I would think it's just like going on a job interview. Someone's taken their time out of their day to interview you, to give you this opportunity. You know, you write a thank you letter, right? Appreciation. Appreciation. Thank Appreciation. you. I'm not interested, but thank you. And if a woman doesn't do that, she won't hear from me again. Mm. Is this the same for you? You feel the same way after a date? Like you want a woman to offer to pay? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Because it's, it's her wanting to contribute to the experience. Mm. And I'm happy to be the man and take over that. But it shows that she's wanting to, to form that and create that equalness and we're all looking for someone who's our equal you know we're let's be honest no one wants to date down you don't want to date down no one wants to date down we're looking for someone who's our equal that's a great way i didn't think of that but that is a, a real way on a first date level mm -hmm. to find that out yeah i i think it's i think it's brilliant when i was dating my wife kathy i think on the first dinner we went out to i paid but she did offer and i think i paid the next one the third time we went out there was no question. She refused to let me pay. And it was Or she buys ice cream afterwards for you or she contributes. Something to nice. Yeah, exactly. Something nice. That's great. Yeah. yeah. She, she, afterwards, you go have drinks somewhere else or ice cream or something like that. And they offered it. That's it's, it's beautiful. It's such a nice gesture. Now, I, I want to say this. I've had friends, girls that I've known that have went around to the waiter on the first date with a man, went around to the waiter and got the bill and paid for the bill. And that didn't work out so well for them. Interesting. Yeah, it because, didn't work out so well for them. Because it was controlling. 
Because it was, it was almost like you're not allowing him to show you your value. I mean, she, she went out, she was so excited to be out with this man, she really wanted to date him. Yeah. She went and paid the bill, which is part of who she was as a person. She's really generous, she's very thoughtful, very, very thoughtful. But doing that, he didn't find that value in her anymore. So what do, you, what do we say right now? I can imagine someone watching this video and being like, this just sounds crazy. You have all of these different tests. Some of them might not make any sense to me. I'm just living my life. I'm being helpful. I'm taking care of friends and family and commitment. I don't want to pass all these tests. I just want to be me. I just want to be authentic. What do you yeah. say to that? This is all subconscious. So you really don't have to worry about it, would be my thoughts. A lot of it is just you guys seeing if your values match, right? If you want to pay for him and that fails his test, cool. Your values didn't match. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to think about it. If you're not the type that wants to talk to someone's family or friends, cool. You just might not match with a person who wants to date an extrovert. Don't try to jump through the hoops. Just understand kind of that they're there and then live your best you and you'll filter in naturally the guys whose tests you work with. We're going to drill in deeper because I think that we, you actually have a specific way. I think both of you have a specific way that a woman can actually figure out, and this is the most important part early on in dating, yeah. what you're both talking about, okay. which makes sense is value alignment. Mm -hmm. So what is, and I wanna hear like from each of you, what is the best way in the beginning of a relationship a woman can truly understand what a man desires and what he needs so she doesn't have to, to jump through hoops of the sure. test. She can, just, she can just know, oh, if it's a good fit, I'm gonna be authentically me, mm -hmm. and if it's not, goodbye. Right, so what I would tell someone is that when you're sitting at a date with a person that you really like, you wanna be as authentic and genuine as you can be. And the best way that I know to do that is to imagine that that person sitting across from you is your best friend. Mm -hmm. How would you act if your best friend was there? Would you offer to pay for that person? Would you expect that that person is paying for you? You know, what are the, the ways that you would interact with that person? And that's your genuine, that's your authentic self. And if you match, it's wonderful. And if you don't match, then it's not meant to be because it's not going to work out in the end anyway. Beautiful. Yeah. I love that. I love that too. Yeah. You, you'd never put your best friend on a pedestal, mm -hmm. would you? So if your best friend was kind of posturing, you'd kind of slap them down a bit, right? If your best friend was being a bit mopey, you'd bring them up, but you'd always see your best friend as an equal. So if you can treat them like your best friend and see them as someone who's equivalent to you, all of this will take care of itself and you'll just naturally filter in the guys that are right for you. Mm. That's absolutely brilliant. Cool. Very well. I'm in total agreement. So really, I think one of the biggest takeaways of understanding how men test women, which as I said, one of the ways that I did was looking at sweetness. You know, Dr. Antonio looks after a date. Mark was looking at really aligned values and figuring out what actions represent those character traits that align those values together. So really, I think what every, what all of us men are trying to do is physical attraction is the obvious. That's the kind of, you know, you, you need that. But for marriage, for a commitment, well, it, it, it's important, but it's not the main thing because beauty is, is kind of like a common thing. There's lots of beauty in the world, but an actual match, right? Like someone that you wanna spend the rest of your life with, that's challenging. And the best way to do it, from what it sounds like to me, is to literally look for actions and make sure that they're aligned. And so if you, if you watched my last video where I really encouraged you to practice the power of polarity, be your authentic self, then it sounds to me like that is one of the best ways to really get that connection. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and I just want to finish this by saying, I've had clients who really connect with their insecurities as their authenticity. And they say, well, when I'm being really authentic, I'm insecure because that's who I am. And I don't really buy into that when they tell that to me. I really believe there's an authentic confidence underneath that. It's almost like they've been identifying with those insecurities for so long that they've forgotten the true confidence they have underneath. So I really believe you at your heart have that authentic confidence. And when that shines, when that authenticity shines, you'll see yourself on his level. You'll see him as your best friend. You'll see him as a lover who's worth your time and you're worth his. And things will work out if the values are compatible. Beautiful. I love that. It's a great summary. Yeah. Absolutely. Totally agree. Listen, I hope that we can do this again. This was literally like the general council of men from for a track great guys. This was fun. This, yeah, was, this was a lot of fun. You. But you know, 
I really, really encourage you, if you're interested in diving a little bit deeper, getting different perspectives from different men, which I really think is helpful, I encourage you to check out Mark Rosenfeld's channel, Make Him Yours. I'm gonna put a link in the description. And also check out Dr. Antonio's channel, Ask Dr. Antonio. Again, the link is in the description. You have to check out their channels and become a subscriber so you really, really commit to getting these different perspectives and applying them in your life. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. This has been so much fun. Thank you for having me. This is great. We're going to do this again. Absolutely. Yeah, we Absolutely. should do this again, right? I think we should. I think so. Comment below. Should we do it again? Let us know. And you know, maybe if you ask questions, maybe we can encourage Dr. Antonio and Mark to comment as well on the video. <laughs> I'll so I'm pimping you guys out. Yeah. Thanks so much, everyone. Be well.